Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just want to give you a, an updated tutorial based on my uh, hardware changes to my computer. And just after more experimenting with the headset and with the SIM and talking to the community, I've figured out some really good settings for my for my own setup. And I wanted to share them with you to hopefully get you guys working with the same quality uh, of as what I've got. So um, I'm really pleased with the um, feedback I'm getting from the other video, uh, which is really still good for the 2060-2070 range cards. It really works well. So please keep asking me questions and I can help you where I can uh, with that tutorial. So um, I just um, updated my system uh, to an i9-10900K uh, processor and a RTX 3080 GPU. I've also added some RAM. So I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM. I've got the Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD. So things are quick my end now. The reason I've upgraded is not just because of the SIM, but I'm actually working a lot on my music and my video making um, and photography. So I've got multiple things that I use my computer for. Therefore, I've, I've bought my these, these things. But um, so I've got to say, the change of performance from this hardware is really like night and day. I mean, it's unbelievable how much better it is. But it's very easy for me to go on and say, go on about that and talk about how good the processor and GPU are. But you don't want to hear that. You want to hear how to sort it out for yourselves. And I really hope this video will help following on from my last tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll just walk you through how I run the sim. I won't actually run it now. I'll just show you the tools uh, to get you ready uh, for the VR experience. So you just open the Oculus. Obviously, I'm, I'm using a Quest 2. I'm just assuming that you guys are using the same setup with the Oculus. First of all, you double click the Oculus app, and that opens in the window. And you just go to the devices. I'm just going to show you my, my headset is connect, connected at the moment. Um, so you need to click connect your headset first. Go down to the graphics preferences. Now, this, this is the sweet spot for my machine. Okay, um, I'm running it at 90 hertz. The render resolution is down here, and I've switched it all the way up to 1.5. Okay. I tried it at 1.7 and a few other settings higher than that. And it did not uh, like it. It kept crashing. The system would just crash, even when it wasn't in the sim. I think the headset can't handle a high resolution graphic. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it override, overruns it or what. I don't really understand it. But I was a bit frustrated with the headset because it should be running at full resolution, even over if I if I tell it to, and then the, the processor will, and the GPU will do the magic. But anyway, this is my sweet spot. So 1.5. So 4848 4, 8 by 2448. Okay. Click OK. Minimize that. Then you open the Oculus tray tool, which I keep in my in my um, in my system tray here. And then these are the settings for this. So again, I'll show you exactly what I use for my setup. So I use 1.0 for default super sampling. Again, higher than that, and it starts to I lose the frame rates. Uh, the default ASW is off. The adaptive GPU scaling is off. The mirror FOV multiply. All at zero, okay. I don't want to have any black areas in the sides. Voice commands disabled, Oculus Homeless enabled, mirror Oculus Home disabled, visual HUD none, OVR server priority is real time. Try these settings and see what happens. Uh, with the Quest Link, I set it at this. So GTX 1080, it's just a preset that they have. Uh, distortion curvature low, encode resolution 3648, bit rate 350. Okay, I save and restart. And these are the settings that work for me. I'm getting, um, so in the, in the rural areas, in the countryside, I'm getting um, FPS at around 50 FPS in VR. Very smooth experience. Um, and in cities, like even in like New York, I'm getting like 38 to 45 FPS. If I'm flying low, I still see the micro stutters. I think that's just a part of the driver problem that we're facing. We have to just wait for the update. So when I'm flying really low in cities, it does break out. Even it can go down to like 30 FPS, but nothing under that. So it's always fine, but it's just the micro stutters that, that's the problem. So basically, guys, what I want you to do is, is you open the Oculus device, just to recap, devices, and then you go down here. 1.5, okay. Oculus Tray Tool, you follow these settings here. And um, that should give you um, what you need to, to run the VR without any drop in frame rates. It works really well for me, but I'm 
as I said, it's specifically for this i9 10900K processor and the RTX 3080. Try it out and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any comments or questions and I'll try and help you as best as I can. It's a great sim. I do feel like in a few months more and more people will be enjoying it because they'll be optimizing the system. But at the moment I've got VR running great and it's beautiful. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's really great. So please keep trying and let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for your support and um, see you around.